Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to export your Pygame projects into the web and how to prep, how to package your projects so that people can play them on each.io using the browser. As you can see, I've got an example projects running in my browser. We have a simple platformer that can jump. So without further ado, let's just jump into this project. Let's first close this. First, what we are going to do is we are going to be installing a module called Pygame back. This is a module that will allow us to export the Pygame project and run it from the browser. After installing it, what we will do is we'll, we will go to our main.py file and we will type at the top import async.io and then in our main run function, for example, my run function is defined in here, we are going to add async before the dev keyword. And under our pygame.display.flip, we are going to say await async.io.sleep0. What this will do is it will enable it, enable it to be run on the browser. Now, note that this um, sleep value has to be 0, otherwise it just won't work. And in the place that we call our run function, we are going to say async.io dot run and then we are going to just call our main function our main run function like this and with this our project is basically ready to be exported into the web however there are some things that i must warn you about first of all your um, main entry point for the game must be named main.py second of all you cannot use any .wav files to load sounds into the game. You must use .ogg files as they are uh, better suited for web um, platforms because they are more compressed and they are easier to load. And also your main project name, uh, your main folder name cannot contain any spaces. It must contain... Um, it cannot contain spaces if it does just replace it with underscore and now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the terminal and then type in game back dot when we say dot it's going to assume that we mean current directory which is here if running this command doesn't work you can try prepending pi dash m or python dash m um, to, to make it run now i already uh, gone ahead and done this um so now we now that we run this it will take a bit because pygameback will go and package every single asset that you have that is you know images sounds fonts etc and it will create a build directory like this and it will get caches in here as well and it's going to give you an address now just control click on this to open this tab on the browser and as you can see it's going to take a bit voila we can run our pygame games on the browser it's actually this easy there is nothing more that we need to do as you can see see sounds are also working so now let's just close this because i'm also going to be showing you how to export this for vs uh, for each data as well so let's just close our terminal window what we're going to say is this i game back dash dash archive and then dots when we say this i game i game back will automatically create a zip file to uh, publish in each data now let's just go to each data let's upload a new project Let's call this I game back test video. We are going to set the kind of project as HTML and then in here we are going to upload files. Now um, it needs to, my file dialog needs to load. So I'm going to be going to documents and then to my video projects folder by game back build and then web.zip as you can see right here i'm going to be uploading this and then i'm going to say that this file will be played in the browser 
after this go to frame options and you can customize it if you want but i'm just going to be leaving it there uh, you can change the viewport dimensions in here as well um but that's about it so you know um let's just save and view the page real quick and let's run the game As you can see, our game is now running on each.io. Sound is working, font loading is working, everything is working. So that was pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can go to the PyGameC Discord community or you can check out the documentation for PyGameBag. All of the links are in the uh, description. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you like the content. Bye.